Every time I log into Facebook, I see the same thing. Baby pic, baby pic, baby pic, video with way too much text. What? Ashley got married? Good for her. But what I see most all over my social meds, Trump's gonna get impeached. Obstruction of justice. Tiny handcuffs on Mandarin Mussolini. And I get it, woke bays. Everyone around Trump is going down. Manafort, Cohen, Papadopoulos, Robert Mueller is running through the Trump team like weak old shellfish from the Mar-a-Lago raw bar. Oh, Jesus. But what is impeached? And does anybody even know? You're Hassan the Record. <laughs> this thing on. So impeachment is how Congress can swipe left on a president. As Benjamin 100 once said, We need something in place to remove an elected president if he renders himself obnoxious. What, we don't know what he sounded like. For a president to be impeached, they need to have done something terrible. I'm talking bad Adele at karaoke terrible. Never mind, I'll find someone like you. So, there are three criteria that can get a president impeached. A, treason, two, bribery, or D, high crimes and misdemeanors. And the first two, you're like, yeah, duh. But that third one sounds like some sort of Snoop Dogg Law & Order spinoff. Dope, I'm recording that. There is no definition of high crimes and misdemeanors. It, what is that? Does it mean murder or mispronouncing the name of your own country? God bless the United States. I don't know. Anyway, if Congress thinks the president has done any of those no-nos, the first step is for a simple majority of the House of Representatives to pass articles of impeachment. What? Oh! Thanks, memes! Then POTUS is going to prison, right? Not right. Just getting impeached doesn't mean a president got got. It only means Congress is charging him with a crime. Then it gets interesting. The next step is a trial in the Senate. That doesn't sound interesting. The Chief Justice presides, the President lawyers up, and the 100 senators act as the jury. Which sucks for them, because the only thing worse than jury duty is jury duty with Ted Cruz, the Zodiac Killer. And if two-thirds of the senators find the President guilty, then he or she is evicted from 1600 Penn, ah! and the Vice President takes over. President! My So that's the whole process of getting rid of a president. It's complex, it's drawn out, but hey, at least now I know a shit ton more about government stuff. I'm like Neo in the Matrix, y'all. If instead of low kung fu, I was like, load advanced civics. But the crazy thing about pink slipping a president, it's literally never happened. Andrew Johnson was impeached in 1868, but he wasn't convicted. Then came Tricky Dicky, but he resigned before Congress had the chance to impeach him, which brings us to Slick Willie. President Clinton has been impeached. So 90s. The House impeached him for obstruction of justice after he lied about where he put his Washington Monument. I did not have sexual relations with that woman. I did have a relationship with Miss Lewinsky. Savage. But the Senate didn't convict him, so Clinton stayed in office. Classic. Now, Trump seems impeachable. Oh, hey, Stormy. But everyone is just speculating. So I asked constitutional law expert and OJ defense team member Alan Dershowitz. Hey, Alan, how long till Trump gets impeached? Look, even if there were evidence of treason, bribery, high crimes and misdemeanors, both houses of Congress are controlled by Republicans. Not gonna happen. Wait, so all my friends on Facebook are wrong? Oh, shit. So it's unlikely Trump will be impeached and end up in Litchfield Penitentiary bunking with crazy eyes. But don't lose faith. No president has ever bragged about his dick size in a debate either. I guarantee you there's no problem. I guarantee you. And hey, maybe after four years of Trump, Americans will know better than to ever vote another Trump into office, which makes Trump the ultimate vaccine against Trump. Whoa. If you bought a map sack from HassanTheRecord.com, they are a fire hazard. Which is why you need the Menage Monoxide Detector, the dankest way to protect your home. Your air's no good, my dude. Thanks, me. Tune in next time when I go Hassan the Record on America's bridges. How'd they get so tall? And where do their trolls live? <laughs>